Hi guys, welcome back to another part of the Sexy Machine build. Uh, I'm having two issues with this car. Uh, the one, the first one is, as I mentioned, my rotor is bent. My brake rotor is bent, as I mentioned did in one of my other videos. And it's creating a lot of drag. So I have to loosen the brake off really, I mean really off. But then the pedal travels, the pedal just travels way, way too far. So I got to switch that rotor. Another thing, that problem that, that I'm having here is with my steering. Uh, it just jumps or slides too much on uh, sharp turns. I heard a, a T-Man talk about Ank Ackerman in one of his videos, but um, I never thought it would be that important for a go-kart like this. But I, I guess it is. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting Ackerman here. So I need to redesign the whole spindle. And what I think I'm going to do, because as I mentioned in my uh, one of my other videos, I don't like these arms coming up so far. So what I, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these arms over the frame here. And do the Ackerman. So I'm going to get to that now. Okay, uh, I had these spindles here that I bought with a spring on them for I bought them for my uh, other build which is gonna be the Nevis uh, machine gun Nevis I think I'm gonna call it the machine gun Nevis uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna use these for that build anymore I'm thinking of using uh, control arms uh, which control arms, uh, most of you guys probably know them as A-arms. Here, I've always known them as control arms. So what I'm going to do here on the Sexy Machine is I'm going to swipe these out for these. And see if that helps. Plus, I'm going to give it an uh, anchorman. So I'm going to get to that. What I need to do is I need to cut uh, these brackets off. So I can weld these ones on. Uh, you guys seen me or other people cutting and welding or whatever. So I don't need to put that on the camera. I'm going to do it and then I'll show you how it's going to come out. Okay, here, here's what I'm going to do with the spindles. I'm going to add, like I said, these spindles. But these spindles here don't stick out as far as the ones I made right and if I just you just weld them if I cut these ones off and just weld this one on the wheelbase is going to be narrower like the wheels will be out will be closer together and I really don't want that I want them as far as part as a part as I can have them without being further out than the back wheels so I'm gonna add a one and one inch piece of uh, square tubing here to bring it out more and then I'll cut these these off here and weld it and then I'll add this so I'm gonna do that right now I'll show you what the, how it came out Okay, on my last uh, my last spindles were set at about I think I set them at five or six degrees before uh, these ones I'm gonna go a little bit more I'm gonna set these at 10 I don't know if you guys can see that's 9.9 .9. there you go 10 10 so I'm gonna leave this at 10 I think that'll work out okay so I'm gonna go ahead and weld it okay I just wanted to show how um, how I did the spindles 
and have an exact measurement on each one so the the wheelbase on the left is exactly the same as the wheelbase on the right so what I did is I put a bar here and I put a tape measure right at the back wheel rim not the tire I put it at the rim and then I measured from here the edge of the rim to the bar on this side and I did the same measurement on the other side to make sure that the spindles are exactly the same distance uh, from this from the right rim to the right spindle and the left rim to the uh, sorry and the left rim to the left spindle this way I know that it's exactly square okay what I did here was uh, I put a bar making sure that it was touching the back and the front of the rear tire to align it to make sure that the front tire is aligned for tow so it's about one and three eighths that's one and three eighths so the front tire is completely straight with the back one and now I'm going to do the um, acrobat on it. Okay, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough string, so I'm using some of my uh, wife's um, knitting, uh, knitting thread, wool, or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna set that right there. And it should be good okay so I have my uh, Ackerman all set up everything is working good now I should have uh, listened to uh, T-Man's uh, video when he was talking about uh, Ackerman but oh well you uh, learn as you go along I'm gonna grind all this down now I'm gonna repaint it I'm also gonna have to put the, the brackets for the front fenders on. I'm not gonna show how to do that, you guys. I showed it on my last video, so I don't have to show it. And what I wanna do now, uh, my next video, what I wanna do is, um, I'm gonna do a speed run. See how fast this thing goes with the governor. And then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna remove the governor. I'm just gonna, tweak it a little bit with uh, with the spring and see how fast it goes then so stay tuned for my uh, next video uh, Axar David Johnson T-Man cheers buddy nah, nothing like a nice couple of shots while you work hard